I've been um, reveling, I have to say, in these um, Biden poll numbers. Uh, poll numbers that aren't coming from a conservative source of any kind, not even uh, Rasmussen, uh, but rather coming from NBC, coming from Harvard and Harris, places that have been, well, you can just say have uh, an ideological incentive to massage their polls to make Biden look as good as possible. Now, I want to talk about the two, two recent polls, NBC News poll, uh, as reported in, on NBCNews.com. Uh, Biden's overall job rating, uh, 43%, um, 54% disapprove. And NBC uh, makes the observation that it's the numbers beneath the approval rating that uh, show a really grim uh, picture for the White House. It's not just that people disapprove of Biden, like they don't disapprove of Biden the man, they do. But they also disapprove of what Biden is doing on virtually every front. Uh, NBC points out that, quote, Biden's standing among key parts of the Democratic base has eroded. Look at this. Number of people who strongly approve of Biden's job performance, 15%. So right there, we know that there are 15% of Americans who absolutely need their heads examined. Uh, but um, the 15% strongly approve is more than matched by 43% who strongly disapprove. Uh, Democratic pollster Jeff Horwitz says a year into his presidency, Joe Biden's standing with the American people is diminished, and he's a smaller figure than he was when he entered the White House. Um, I was um, a day or so ago on, um, on Fox, and we were talking about the fact, in fact, you had this, um, this uh, Democratic operative saying, you know, the problem with Biden is he's a little too cloistered. He's a little too insulated. He needs to get out. He needs to show himself to the American people, interact with people, be a more engaged figure. And I made the observation that I don't think that's going to help. Why? Uh, because the problem isn't that people don't see enough of Biden. It's that what they see of Biden, they don't like. So it's kind of like, you know, you thought you're getting this unifier you have in Biden, this mean-spirited divider. You thought you're getting this kind of jovial, get-along guy who sort of know, can work with all kinds of people, is, is um, a compromiser and someone who uh, views his opponents not as enemies, but just as, um, as people he disagrees with. In fact, you get this cranky, nasty old man who seems to take a certain relish um, in his meanness and shows a kind of casual indifference to suffering, to pain. Oh, all those people fell out of planes. Well, that was five days ago. Why are you bringing it up now? Remember that from the, um, from the pullout in Afghanistan. So I don't think greater exposure is going to, um, going to help Biden whatsoever. Here's a second poll, Harvard uh, Harris poll, as reported in The Hill. Its numbers for Biden are even worse. Uh, Biden's approval rating is now 39% in this poll. So it's now in the high 30s. And um, uh, it, has, um, it has about half of those 39% saying that they approve of Biden and the other half saying that they somewhat approve. They, now this approval number, 39%, is um, down from um, November of last year uh, when uh, it was 45%, it was six points higher. And, um, and of course, all of this is way down from when Biden was first elected. Um, I think the remarkable thing about all this is that one would expect in seeing this kind of, it's almost like the elevator with the, the cord cut and it's falling down, down, down. Usually what people do is they start thinking, about what do we do, you know? How do we, how do we avoid the elevator from crashing into the floor? Do we like jump into the air and hope that the elevator will hit, but we won't hit? In other words, you take measures, however desperate, to try to avoid the catastrophe that seems right before you. Striking thing about Biden is he isn't. You get no sense that Biden is pivoting, no sense that Biden is modifying course, no sense that Biden is listening and saying, okay, listen, how can I do better? I mean, contrast Biden with, say, the behavior of Clinton in the 90s, when Clinton's approval rating, by the way, wasn't free fall, but Clinton very slyly and very subtly sort of accommodated to that. He's like, listen, I'm not going to come across as too leftist. I'm not going to let my crazy wife sort of take over. I'm going to, I'm going to strike a centrist course. I'm going to bring in some people who are sort of from the other side. I'm going to design welfare reform. And all of this will show the American people that, you know, even though 
I might be, um, uh, you know, depraved in my private life. Nevertheless, I am uh, doing my best to run the country and move it in a sort of centrist direction. Well, none of this from Biden. Uh, I guess politically, this is all good for us because it means that if, that Biden's uh, poll numbers are uh, disintegrating as fast as his brain cells. And that's a little dangerous for the country, right? Because who knows what kind of decisions this kind of adult character is going to make. On the other hand, it also means that people are beginning to see that you've got not just an incompetent, but a mean-spirited fool in the White House and, and sweeping him out, getting rid of him and getting rid of all his minions and getting rid of the party that's enabling him. This is the urgent task for the country ahead.